Eight hundred nine five one zero five nine two. Patriot Radio News Hour. Joe and Jason here on this Tuesday. Uh, Jamie Diamond, you know he's on TV. They love him. Right? They, they gotta they gotta get him out there on CNBC and Fox, and uh, he he's definitely the poster child. He is obviously a very smart man. Uh, I don't want to. I, I need to give him his due. Right, he has positioned himself and his bank to be the big winner every time there's a problem. And you know, you think about Bear Stearns, right? Two dollars a share. Uh, First Republic, uh, J.P. Morgan. They had to restate. They let everyone know. Hey, by the way, here's what a great deal we got. And this is this part almost makes me sick about it. They're going to net. An extra three billion dollars uh, from the purchasing of First Republic. Uh, again, that's three billion dollars that could have been saved in the FDIC's bailout fund. But again, uh, they were the only bidder, right? That makes it easy, right? Hey, hey, you know, and I'm sure Jamie Dimon made a few phone calls and said, "Hey, yeah, we'll take this one, right? You guys, there'll be others." But he, he was out talking yesterday, and he said, yeah, there's a deposit problem. But he said there's another concern that's building. And, of course, Jason, we've been telling you about this concern. Ever, hey, way before they started mentioning it on TV, we were telling you about this. Commercial real estate is an area that is most likely to cause problems for lenders, for banks, according to Jamie Dimon. There's always what he, he called it an offside. I thought that was an interesting word, offside. You know, think about like football. The, the, the defense alignment jumps right before the, the, the quarterback hikes the ball. Well, the center hikes it, but before, before the ball gets hiked, they're, they're offside. But he says offsides in this case will be real estate. It will, it will be certain locations, certain office properties, certain construction loans. It could, and he, you know, you got to remember, guys this smart, they choose their words very carefully. It could be very isolated, which also means what? It could not be isolated. But here's the good news, because I told you I was going to give you good news. It won't be every bank. There you have it, Jason. Here's the good news. Hey, listen, uh, we're going to have more banks go under. Uh, maybe if we're lucky, it won't be that money. But here's the good news. It's not going to be every bank. It's not going to be every bank. <laughs> well, I guess that's good news for his bank. <laughs> I mean, right. I'm sure. Like I'm pretty about. sure he's one of the banks that it, it won't be them. I mean, if I mean that, that's the same thing as the Nuggets say. Well, you know, not all the teams have lost basketball games today, and they're sitting there in the championship now, right? I mean, right, right. You <laughs> the know, same thing. You know, hey, all the teams are good, but some of them aren't going to make it to the playoffs. You know, well, it's good for you to say that as long as you're one of the ones that made it, right? And so that's, you know, it's just. You know, well, how many banks is his bank going to be buying up here in the next couple of years? How about that? Maybe you should talk about that. Well, you one. know the fun, right? You remember what was it? A week ago or so? We're not we're not going to buy anymore. We'll see. I, yeah, that that doesn't give me and the fact that he had to say that actually makes me less confident. Right? Uh, why would you say that at all? But he goes on. There will be a credit cycle. There's always a credit cycle. But I guess he meant a bad credit cycle. My view is that it will be very normal. Okay. Uh, okay. With the exception of real estate. Well, let's see. Hmm. Now, no offense to Jamie Dimon, but there's only so much credit, right? The You have credit cards. Right? That's a credit cycle. That's like a trillion dollars. Uh, you have auto loans. That's a credit cycle, I guess. Right? That's what, $1.4, $1.5 trillion? 
We have student loans. God, what a what a joke. That guy's just saying it makes me upset. Think about this. That's the third biggest credit cycle. This is how they duped all of us. Right? What, what, that's about one point eight, maybe one point nine trillion dollars. You know what the only other credit cycle left? Real estate. Do you know what the real estate credit cycle is? How big it is? Yeah, it, it's over eleven trillion dollars. And I could be old, it could be thirteen trillion by now. But essentially, hey, it's gonna be real normal, guys. Don't worry. Well, with the exception of this one thing. You can add up the other three, multiply it by two, and still not equal the real estate side. So, Jason, uh, I don't, I don't know exactly. Uh, again, I know that marijuana is legal in a lot of places, but it sure seems like Jamie Dimon was hitting the peace pipe. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't trust Jamie Dimon. He's another one of those elitists. He's, uh, you know, he's. Uh, I got reminded of uh, looking at some some stuff the other day. He's he's connected to Jeffrey Epstein. It's like how many come every one of these guys are are connected to Jeffrey Epstein. So I, hey, he's getting sued. That's a, on CNBC. There's a news news story that just broke that you know talking a few weeks ago about Jeffrey Epstein and Jamie Dimon. He's being you know Jamie Dimon's being sued for benefiting from st- stuff that guy was doing. So, I mean, uh, he may be smart, Joe, but I, I get a feeling he was well-placed. I think he's just like a lot yeah. of our politicians. He was well-placed. He's, he's benefiting from something. I, I'm going to say this. I think it, we'll see how that plays out. Why do I get the feeling there's going to be enough degrees of separation uh, that Jamie Dimon <laughs> will be okay? Well, I never talked to him. Okay, but, yeah, but you're right hand man. Well, his, well his, but that his, wasn't Jamie me. Dimon will always say this. I, I am in charge of a large bank, and I can't be in control of the millions of depositors at my bank. That, that'll be plain and simple. But, I mean, come on. Like, you know, those are some big players rubbing shoulders, I'm sure. So, so listen to what he has to say. This is great stuff. This is Jamie Dimon on TV yesterday. For example, he says, if the unemployment rate rises sharply, now he doesn't say, if he thinks that's going to be the case or not. Like I said, the only way inflation comes down is for this to happen, right? Period. I don't know if it is or isn't, but that's the only way. Credit card losses might surge to 6 or 7%, but that would still be lower than the 10% during the financial crisis. See? See? See how much better that now? How does he get that math? I don't know. Right? Uh, you sure it's only going to be 6 or 7%? Uh, maybe. Then again, maybe not. But hey, it'll be less than the the last time around. Mm, I don't know if that dog hunts or not. Hey, someone pass me the peace pipe. We'll be back with more. Eight hundred nine five one zero five nine two. Patriot Radio News Hour. Joe and Jason. Jamie Dimon also had one other thing to say. We'll get to that in just a minute. But I want to get to the specials today. We've got two of them. Uh, the one tenth ounce American Gold Eagle. Man, premiums lost their minds on tenth ounce Gold Eagles like six weeks ago. They were three hundred and twenty-five dollars. Uh, they're 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 much closer to reality today. Uh, they were two ninety, but today I've got two hundred. I got about four rolls of tenth ounce American gold. I know that's not a lot, but still two hundred and seventy-five dollars. So uh, that is a, I mean, that's fifty dollars a coin less. That would be like gold falling five hundred bucks. I mean, that, that would be the equivalent here. It's not even down 100 I'm down like 50 uh, So $275 on the one-tenth ounce American Gold Eagles. Part of the popularity of this coin, especially over the last uh, year or so, is everybody's getting ready for the digital money. That's, what, that, that's why it's so popular, because they think they're going to need to barter to buy stuff. 
right? I'm going to need to, I want to buy more ammo than the government allows. I want to buy uh, more ground beef than the government allows or whatever it may be, whatever uh, they do with this digital currency, barterable material. Uh, that's why the 10th ounce American Gold Eagle has been so popular. Uh, and then on the old pre-1933 gold, $10 liberties, got about 100 of these. And, again, the price is just with so fantastic. One through 19, $1,130. If you buy 20 or more, $1,125. That's like $2,250 uh, for, for if you bought two of them. I mean, that's, that's so far below what we have seen prices be this year. Uh, just a super great opportunity. Like I said, I'm telling everybody right now, Buy something during this debt ceiling talk because once it gets passed, everything's going to go right back uh, to where they were. So 800-951-0592. Now, what else did he say? Because I'm telling you right now, he's high as hell when he thinks he can tell us what credit card losses are going to be with high unemployment. He's out of his mind. But okay. He gets to lie on TV. That's what he gets to do. But we've had this debate, and Jason and I have debated this. How high are interest rates going? Right? You have the, I'll call it Camp A. The Fed is done here. Right? There's, I've got my hand up. Right? Yeah, the Fed's done here. Then you have Camp B. The Fed's not done here now remember last week well i think it was last week maybe it was a week and a half ago we played bubba horowitz right bubba horowitz is absolutely the fed is not done of course and he's telling you s and p below 2000 he's telling you the dow below 20,000. what does jamie diamond say <laughs> he said that banks especially the smaller ones most affected by the recent turmoil need to plan for interest rates to rise far higher than most expect. Excuse me? This is going to be huge. There are going to be hundreds of banks that go. Uh, I'm just and again, I just told you he's hitting the peace pipe here. But listen to what he says. I think everyone should prepare for rates to go higher from here. How high? I mean, we're at five, six, or seven percent, according to Jamie Dimon. You are already seeing credit tightening because of the easiest way for a bank to retain capital is not to make the next loan. And Jamie Dimon saying rates could be as high as 7%. Jason, that would be the, the Fed's going to raise all year long and maybe into next year. Well, there is some sense to that. I mean, in the years that the Fed has had their target rate of inflation of 2%, this was after they had changed how they calculated inflation, which essentially if inflation is about double what it actually, the CPI number comes in at. So, if CPI is saying five, it really is around ten. So if their Fed funds rate is five percent, if 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 it was two percent was the the Fed, you know that was the inflation they wanted, and it was actually uh, the money creation over that time period is about five percent. So that's your real inflation. Your real inflation over that period of time is about five percent, and you had your Fed funds rate of uh, of average of two percent. Obviously, it's been down below that a lot, but. So if it's actually 10% inflation, or let's just say 9 let's say it goes down a little bit this next month, then really they need, if they want to keep that 2%, 3% inflation, they need to have the Fed funds rate around 6 right? Maybe 7 So a lot of what he's saying actually kind of makes sense. If you, you, know, if you actually calculate inflation right, or if you look at the money creation. Right. So if, the, if the, the CPI comes down, let's say to 3%, which means more like 6% inflation, I, they, they, they're just going to pause. They're just going to stop. So, so we'll just see. We'll see how the inflation looks the next few months. But once again, you just said the debt ceiling. 
they solve the debt ceiling and pump in a, another trillion dollars in, into the markets and into, into all the uh, government pet projects. Well, then the inflation is going to go higher, and Jamie Dimon's right. They're going to have to increase the rates. I'm going to tell you right now, that just, I've heard a lot of things from a lot of people. That probably just scared the you-know-what out of me because I know what that means. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of banks are going to go under. Credit card defaults aren't going to be 6 or 7%. Unemployment rate's going to skyrocket. This is... He's telling you to prepare for that. 800 951 uh, I don't know what to say. If Jamie Diamond, I mean, if he's right, just, just that alone. Okay. Let's add another $500 billion to the deficit. I mean, just that fast. I mean, already the the interest on the debt has already passed defense. Sometime this year, well, I guess officially next year's budget, it'll it'll pass Medicare and Medicaid. In 2025, it'll probably pass Social Security. It's the largest single expense, but it, that's at five percent, seven percent. I mean, it'll be the, the it'll take up more of the budget than any other thing that we have. This is this is crazy. And I want to give you an update on this debt ceiling. Ready how far apart they are? This is, it's so laughable. The Biden administration is offering a freeze on, on federal spending at the current level. Hey, we'll just spend what we spent in 2022 and 2023. Now, here's the problem. 2023 is almost over. Federal, the federal budget uh, goes from October of of 2022 to September of 2023, we're in May. The Republicans, right, the, the big bad Republicans, you know how much money they want, less they want to spend? $130 billion. That'll fix it. There you go. Yes, if we just spend $130 billion less, of course the problem is, just raising interest rates another quarter of a point, uh, that just took care of that $130 billion, right? I mean, Jamie Dimon said, hey, we, listen, we, we got to raise it, uh, you know, eight more times at a quarter of a point of time. Uh, yeah, Jason, this is idiocracy. And this is why I keep telling everyone, buy now. Because this whole little Wall Street, you know, dollar rally, it's all nonsense, 130 Can we spend a hundred? Look, they're, they're ready to shut the government down. Because they don't know if they can pull off that trick. I don't know, man. That's just a lot. I mean, we're $7.8 trillion. We can't spend $130 billion less. And again, you know what the sad part is, Jason? They may be right. That could end up, you know what, just blowing up the whole economy, I guess. The funny thing is, is, uh, you know, the debt ceiling, how many times it's been raised in history. You know, you think the conservative Republicans would be the ones that have tried to stop it the most. It's been raised under a Republican president 49 times and only right. 29 times under a Democrat. So it doesn't right. really matter who's there. They're going to raise, they're going to spend more, Joe. Don't, don't think that the Republicans really don't want to spend money. They want to uh, spend, listen, spend, man. <laughs> yeah, we're going to spend $130 billion less, but then we're going to do a bunch of other stuff, emergency spending on this and that. Yeah, don't worry, they'll get it. Yep. One tenth ounce American gold eagles. Fifty dollars lower than what six to eight weeks ago. Fifty dollars lower. Uh, Two hundred and seventy-five dollars a coin, and then the ten-dollar liberties. Uh, and, and no twenty-dollar gold has been falling and falling, but the ten dollars are just still they're still just cheaper. One through nineteen, eleven hundred and thirty. Twenty or more, eleven hundred and twenty-five dollars. Uh, just huge value right there at eight hundred. Nine five one zero five nine two. Uh, not very encouraging words out of Jimmy Diamond, but here's the good thing. Let's. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be positive. Don't worry. It won't be all the banks that go under. There you go. <laughs> oh boy. It's oh gonna boy. be a lot of them, but not you know. Exactly. Hey. 
Well, we'll be back tomorrow, right, Joe? Uh, nine o'clock, That's right. o'clock, right? Nine o'clock tomorrow. Jason and I, though, we're coming right back with the half-empty cup, and we're going to break down Watergate. Uh, tune in for that.